Hello, it's KM6ZPO, and I'm going to show you three antennas, and I would like you to guess which of these three antennas has the lowest SWR. The white one, which stands at about eight feet tall, is the Tram 1480, and it has a short cable. The copper J pole over here, or way up there hanging from this fiberglass pole you can barely make it out that is an ed fong dbj2 roll-up antenna so which one the copper j pole the omnidirectional or the ed fong now the tram claims to have 8 db gain the ed fong antenna doesn't claim anything that's just a good antenna so they say right and the j-poles are known for their uh, reliability um, and they're not too hard to they don't really need to be tuned they're just they, they either are working or not working if they're designed correctly so I did the results and the winner is the Ed Fong DBJ2 roll-up so here we have it on the top first, you have the 1480. That's the big white one. Not bad. 1.07 on VHF, 1.66 on UHF. The J pole, well, not great at all. 1.88 and 1.72 on UHF. But look at this. This little Ed Fong DBJ2 roll up with a 1.01 on VHF and 1.05 on UHF. What's the moral here? Well, a poorly designed antenna is going to have high SWR, which is gonna lower your power. And a well-built, well-tuned antenna, such as the ones made by Ed Fong's team of, of uh, students, is really gonna pay off. These Ed Fong roll-up antennas are super cheap and they are really portable, great for the field. I have it here at home on a 13 foot expandable fiberglass mast, but I could have just as easily just strung it up in a tree. That's all for now. KM6 ZPO out.